Hey y'all, I'm back. I know it's been a minute, but got a video for you guys. Today I'm doing a review on Sally Hansen's Wax Warming Kit. Sidebar, I'm in my bathroom. This is my shower. This is my shower curtain. And I am sitting on the top of my toilet seat. So every time I move, it makes that weird noise. So I am not farting. It's just the sound of my toilet. Anywho, back to the review. Sally Hansen's Wax Warming Kit. Okay, so let's get into it. $20, got it from Target. What do I think about it? It sucks. Don't ever buy this product. Don't even waste your money. $20, save the $20, get $30 more, and get a more expensive kit that will last longer. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you guys what's in the box, what comes in the kit, and I'm going to tell you, like, fully explain to you why I did not like this product. So, you get your instructions. You get your um, applicator sticks. Um, there's three, three small ones, three big ones. Then you get your wax and your wax warmer. Your wax warmer, there's the little heating plate. Here's your wax. <clears throat> On the instructions, oh, it is um, a stripless wax, so you do not need the white strips for this. So I'm like, cool, I think that'll be great. Um, I brought this product basically because I've never used wax. Um, you know, I've had my eyebrows waxed professionally, but I've never used wax myself on any, for any hair removal on my body. So I'm like, okay, this will be a great starter kit. I don't even have to buy the little strip thingies. Easy. Boom. No, not at all. First off, in the instructions, it says it takes 25 minutes to warm. Bullshit. It takes two hours. No lie. First, the first hour, it warmed up to like this much, this much of um, the wax was warm. And the only re reason I knew is because I took the wax out of this and I felt the bottom. So I could feel the bottom was warm. About an hour and a half, maybe half of it was warm. And what I ended up doing is actually sticking my finger into the wax. Mind you, the wax on the top was hard. Sticking my finger into the wax on the top to try to like push it down and like um, break it up a little bit. Anywho, after two hours, I could actually stir it and, you know, try to get the wax heated evenly. So I tested it out on my um, knuckle, my hair that's like right here on your knuckles. And yeah. It didn't really remove the hair like I, I wanted it to, like I thought it would. I mean, don't get me wrong, it did remove some hair, but not the way I thought it would. And honestly, it could have been that, like, it wasn't hot enough, but come on, for $20... I don't need to go through heating up my wax for three hours and then like testing it out on my skin and then it not working and I have to like reapply. Like honestly, I reapplied the wax on the knuckle area like four to five times. That's it. It, it didn't do anything. Honestly, you know what it reminds me of? When you have candles and... I don't know, call me weird or whatever. But if you dip your finger into the candle wax and it dries like that, that's what it reminds you of. And then you can kind of just break it off or peel it off. That's what this is like. It doesn't remove any freaking hair. So there's no point in buying the product. I would suggest simply saving your money and getting the more expensive wax warmer with the wax. Um... Yeah, it'll last longer, and it's just worth it in the end. So, needless to say, I will be taking this thing back to Target. But I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Have any questions, leave comments below. Till next time, deuces.